Hello and welcome back to my channel. Economically, the COVID-19 crisis is the most immediate one of liquidity that has resulted into financial stress. Now, as the coronavirus has spread, thousands of companies have had to close their doors temporarily and they had to lay off the employees. Today, I'll be talking about the impact of layoffs and how companies are responding and employees coping up uh, during these unprecedented times. The first question that comes to our mind is, should companies lay off their employees? What will be the long-term impact of these layoffs? Now, layoffs can have a positive impact in a short run because it saves your liquidity uh, as it reduces the fixed future cost. But when the uh, and when the businesses are trying to change their business models and struggling to cope up due to changes in consumer behavior or purchasing power, etc., emanating from these crisis situation, layoffs will certainly help certainly help the companies in protecting their liquidity in the short run. But laying off may result in negative consequences in the long run for both as employees as well as businesses. Long-term long -term layoffs will affect sustainability of the company. Post-crisis, when economies will bounce back, the demand will pick up again and things will start becoming normal. There will be more friction to get the economy up and running. But if the employees are hooked to jobs, then it is much easier. Otherwise, companies will have to spend time and resources and incur extra costs to hire those employees again. The companies that lay off workers may also suffer from a reputation loss. Employees, those who escape the layoff currently or haven't been laid off as of now, may feel insecure and that they can be laid off anytime. Those who have been asked to leave may not join the same company again. Sure, the costs will be temporarily cut, but companies create stress for the remaining employees and the, when the economy is back, it creates extra cost to rehire and retrain the employees. It's important for the company leaders to maintain their calm and take decisions by involving the employees and everyone around them. It's important to communicate and engage with employees. In fact, the most important mantra during this crisis is communication and engagement. Companies should be compassionate toward their, towards their employees in this time of crisis. Let's now, focus, let's now discuss the impact of layoffs on the employees as well as on the economy. Actually, people when they lose their job, they face tremendous stress level, even normal situations. So COVID-19 is an extraordinary circumstance where everybody is so stressful and we have, you know, it's like kind of traumatic to homes rahe stress inventory a scale which is used to estimate people's vulnerability to major health breakdowns losing job ranks among the 10 most stressful reasons to avoid creating stress for the employees i think alternative solution to layoffs would be for instance keep everyone employed but cut everyone's salary by some percentage. I've seen this done by many airline companies in Singapore during this period. Alternatively, layoff can be done on a product, as a productivity increasing measure, which in a normal scenario also companies, they, they do. If they think that the marginal productivity of the last worker employed, often the first one to be laid off, is lower than that of the average work, then it is a productivity enhancing strategy. Low skills workers are easier to hire, so even if they are laid off, it doesn't cost the company because it requires little investment in training and training and bringing them back. So it's been noticed in the past that firms tend to hold high skill labor yet and let low skill labor go in economic recession. So we can take that idea from there. Another solution is to reduce the stress impact on employees to keep them engaged and involve them in decision making. The general evidence suggests that workers who feel engaged and secure in their employment are more productive and the focus of companies should be on increasing productivity. So the whole idea is that companies should be sustainable in such a crisis period. 
goal should be to increase productivity while maintaining liquidity and uh, let's understand what is productivity so productivity is a measure of improving work idea impact and resources all together combined together removing or reducing resources mm, that includes layoff but only layoffs will not yield desired outcomes for the economy for the company sorry organizations working and nurturing on ideas and willing to experiment um, those ideas could sustain in the long run with automation taking over several jobs it's equally imperative for organizations to assess new ways of redeploying the resources for productivity gain now since companies are struggling to meet their liquidity demands laying off employees is not the only solution companies can offer salary and wage cuts instead of layoffs they can also offer sabbaticals to skilled workers who would be difficult to replace and for seas for employees of seasonal businesses who reasonably anticipate that the slowdown in work may be temporary another option is reduced number of days per week that will help both full time workers as well as part time workers so flexible and online working hours at reduced rates is another option companies should engage in research and development In fact this is the high time for the companies to improve their productivity and improve their efficiency in other areas it's high time for the companies to get into their financial analysis even deeper and apply zero based budgeting it's important to engage employees in decision making by engaging them they'll be less resentful if the layoffs or salary cuts happen the companies must balance the needs of the business with expectation setting and morale building so employees know that their well-being is at the top of the company's mind lastly what can governments do government can governments of the various countries have already offered and can offer wage subsidies and grants to help companies retain their employees the wage subsidies can be in the form of individual income tax deductions or direct payment of wages in otherwise also if the governments do not offer these measures that the people who are you know the, the people who lose their jobs will file unemployment claims so it's better that the governments uh, offer these kind of measures to the companies so that they retain their employees european countries such as netherlands denmark uk they have all offered up to pay up to 90% of wages to employees of private businesses Singapore and US governments have also announced generous grants and low to zero cost working capital loans for the businesses. These government measures during a crisis can help to sustain and grow economic transactions when normalcy returns and prevent and prevent deeper recessions within the economy. So these were my thoughts about laying layoffs during this unprecedented times. In my next video I'm planning to cover zero based productivity and zero based budgeting so stay tuned thank you